got this draggy device in. Um, seems to be working pretty good. So I'm gonna test this with the stock tune versus my modified tune, and uh, just see the difference in time. See how you know different it runs in the quarter mile. Um, the setup is an LQ9. It's got like 300,000 miles on it. I put a set of 799 heads on it. Uh, so it has a stock intake and everything. It has a truck Norris cam and long tube headers with a single three inch for now. It has factory 410 gears and these are 33 inch tires. loading the stock tune back in <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious if it's actually faster with the stock tune but we'll see you here in just a second now as i'm driving back to the house i still got the stock tune loaded in and it's actually running fine um it doesn't like to idle very well it seems like it wants to go dead it stops but uh other than that i mean it's okay definitely more responsive with the with the other tune in it Putting my other tune back in, now let's see what it sounds like idling. Let's get to these results here. Now, this was the first run with the stock tune. And it seemed to run okay. Um, you could definitely tell it was slower. There was no tire spin at all. Uh, we run a 16.9 quarter mile, 11 eighth mile. My second run with the stock tune was a 17.3 quarter mile and 11 3 eighth mile i don't know why this one doesn't say verified right here like all the other ones do but i do know it was definitely a slower run because on the start out it was sputtering for i don't know probably the first two seconds or so there again no tire spin i'm not discrediting this not verified at all i'm pretty sure that's exactly right it was definitely slower than the first run with the stock tank with that being said, it, it does work, um, but even with my crappy tune that I have in it, here's the results there. A full second faster, actually over a second faster in the quarter mile. 10 5 eighth mile, uh, pretty much an 8 0 60 And I will also note, I don't know if the video is gonna show it or not, but there was definitely tire spin with the the modified tune it spun quite a bit actually i guarantee you there's an extra half a second in here without the tire spin uh, this was my second run with the my tune in it uh, 15 9 quarter 10 4 eighth mile and then an 80 0, 60. but like i said i know this would be probably a 7 5 without the tire spin if i would have launched in four-wheel drive which i may try that uh next video but i'm also i'm going to try and get the video feature working of the draggy for my next video because i had it on this one but my camera mount was just so shaky it was just it'd give you a headache looking at it, it was horrible but 
With that being said, it, it does run on the stock tune, but even with my very rich and not accurate um, tune that I've got in here, it's still a full second quicker, over a full second quicker in a quarter mile. All right, let's see the mile per hour for those runs. Here's run one and two. Those are with the stock uh, tune. 81 and 82 miles an hour, almost 83 there. Uh, that The one that says invalid up there, that was the one that it sputtered on. I'm pretty sure that's still valid because it was definitely slower than this run because it, it did that misfiring or whatever off, off the line. Uh, these are the two runs with the tune. And like I said, that was still spinning but the mile per hour should be pretty accurate. So we'll just call that 89 miles an hour. So picked up seven miles an hour and a full second. And the Firebird is still running great. About got the tires going on the back, but I still got the factory wheels and tires that come off the front. They still got a lot of treads, so they'll probably be going on the back just to, uh, make a few more videos of that. But <clears throat> I'm gonna do a complete breakdown video showing exactly how much money I have in the entire LS swap, everything. I'm gonna put every penny I've got out there. Well, maybe not every penny because there's some stuff that you forget about, but I'm gonna do that. And it's a budget setup, so it's probably gonna be pretty low. And I'm going to do a complete budget of, after that, how much it costs to turbo it with my own custom manifold set up here. So stick around for that. So for the next video, I think I'm going to mount these on there. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. 225-60-16. <clears throat> I'm just curious how much performance uh, those big tires are killing me. So I'm going to mount these on there. My original plan was to just put the factory lightweight wheel and tire setup back on it and just see through the drag, you just see the performance difference versus the heavy 20s uh, with 33 inch mud tires that are on it now. They're way heavier than these. I might even weigh them. Actually, I will weigh them. Um, so. My original plan, like I said, was to put these on there and just compare those. But I had those super tiny car tires too. So I was like, hey, why not? Let's throw, the, throw those on there and uh, see what happens. So that's going to be the next video, y'all. Stick around. God bless. Thanks for watching.